Hey, how's it going? And welcome to another Filter Center video. And today I thought, because it's open, we might as well lose all of our money in some BFB Coliseum games. Uh, and it's worth mentioning right at the start that, uh, well, I recorded this video, it was really good, it was really fun. Uh, but the audio decided not to record, so... I'm doing a voiceover, and normally I would just re-record it, do another one, but as you've guessed in the title, something pretty special happens, so I've, uh, I've decided to do a voiceover. I am so sorry that it's turned out like this, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we came up against this guy, like I say, and I had absolutely no idea what the hell I was gonna pick for this. Um, and I'm kinda glad that he skipped. Yeah, he ended up skipping, so I was, uh, now nah, I was kinda glad. Um, and on this map, I was really psyched to play this map, because I was like, oh shit, this is obviously, uh, Tac Cobra Sun. And I was like, oh, get on. We've, we've got a pretty easy, uh, easy going map right here. Uh, he wanted me to skip. I said no. Uh, and that was, that was when I, yeah, that was when I died. <laughs> it was when I said no. Um, but yeah, I was, I was all hyped up. I was like, yeah, bring it on. And, and at the start, you might be tricked into thinking it's going well. And well, it, well, it didn't. Because, well, if you've noticed already, I'm in BFB Coliseum. Um, and it was a standard one, which means it's powers. And my powers are... Well, it's the Tower Boost, the Red Hot Spikes, and the Bloom Boost, which means I completely forgot to even go for the actual powers in BFB Collie. So I was going Tier 0, whereas this guy over here was obviously going powers. So I facepalmed the starters. I was like, oh shit, we've done this. I was also kind of a bit annoyed about the fact that we went Cobra v Cobra. I was like, yeah, this is a bit stupid. Um, but I was confident. I was so confident. I've done the Cobra v Cobra before, so I was kind of like, yeah, let's do it. We can, I can pull this off. I can pull this off. Um, this guy is also very nice as well. It's probably worth mentioning. You'll see throughout the video. This guy, right, every single time I messed up and did something stupid, this guy was, was being like, oh, it's all right. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's all right. Uh, and yeah, that, that, it was at this point when I realized, oh, crap, I can't believe I've gone for the powers. Oh, my God. But, um... Nah, this guy was very nice. He was, uh, he was willing to be, uh, he was like, he was, he wasn't face palming me and saying, ha ha ha, see ya, see ya, see ya, or anything like that. He was, he was very nice. We had a good, I'd say for, for about, the, you had about the best conversation you could probably have out of the emotes, uh, from it. Um, but yeah, he's, well, for, for starters, he got a full salted wounds on me. Um, uh, he adjusted me and I didn't get down my sub, which meant that he was going to get even more salted wounds on me. Um, and he didn't face palm me for it. He didn't see a see a see a for me for it. It was, uh, nah, he was all right. He was all right. So anyway, I just kept on choking. I'm putting down my cobras right now, about to get another full salted on me. Well, it wasn't, yeah, it was pretty much a full salted to be fair. I caught that one. I was very proud of that, actually. I, uh, I caught its camo, uh, green as it went through, which I thought was intelligent. But, uh, no, he still, was, there was still more stuff going through, which meant it ended up being a full salted. And right now, I was just panicking, trying to get down the reactor as soon as possible. Which, I am actually amazed, uh, because in the next eco cycle, I'm 90% sure I managed to pick up this blue balloon here. I want to watch this again, actually, because I didn't catch it. Uh, yes, I did! Just there! I only just caught that camo blue right there, before it went through. Which I'm amazed by. So, like, this is my, like I said, it's my first time watching it again. I didn't realize the audio hadn't recorded, which I hate! Because this was a really fun video to make, but, uh, no, nah, I'm sorry if this is a bit lower quality than, uh, <laughs> another one. I, like I said, any other situation, I would have just re-recorded, but, uh, no. Next game. Next, ne next game was pretty special. It was, uh, it was pretty special. Uh, but yeah, so we went up against this guy, like I say, um, and spammed some yellows at him. Tried to see if I could, uh, get some eco, because right now I was heavily out eco Like, this guy was already overtaking me in the amount of cobras I had, and I was just completely clueless. Uh, and the submerged support, I don't know if you can see by that yellow, was completely useless until about the last quarter of the submerged support's area. So, uh, yeah, that submerged support was completely useless, um, which, by the way, becomes very important later on as any normal person can guess because anything over green uh gets uh well gets its camel removed at the second half of the track so yeah so anything that's pink black white ceramic ceramic wink wink uh is just yeah it, it doesn't really do anything against it um and this guy sends me leads and i'm actually i managed to time it kind of perfectly not gonna lie with the uh with the reactor for it um I was trying not to sell my tax shooter for it, which I thought, you know, I would have to, but I didn't. But anyway, yeah, I was going to try and sort out the camel issue here by putting down the submerged support. I thought, yeah, okay, right, we've got one more submerged support. Job should be fine. There we go. For some reason, I didn't place it in the uh, in the little bit up uh, above the uh, that little island. I didn't place it further up, which was stupid. This guy went well done still. Being so very nice was like, oh, yeah, well done. You've sorted the problem. And I was just like, yeah, oops. <laughs> it was a bit of an issue. 
Um, but no, this guy was very nice. Um, and as you can see by that, uh, by the fact that that blue still went up there, this submergent support was doing nothing. Um, so I was still managing to, well, it was stripping the blues and the greens and stuff, but it, like I say, everything yellow and above was still getting messed up. Um, and you can probably see on their side of the screen right now, they've got, well, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17 Cobras down. I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Um, no, wait, 2, 4, 6... Yeah, no, no, I've got nine down. Holy shit, that took me two attempts to count. Um, so yeah, I'm being heavily out cobred heavily out e right now, heavily out-defended. Um, but yeah, this game goes pretty much out as expect. Uh, yeah, it pretty much, uh, pretty much goes exactly how you'd expect. One camel ceramic. Did you see that camel ceramic just went right through there? Boosted it. It took me a while to put down all the cobras to try and pop it, but the camel ceramic, it was already popped by that time. So then I just needed a tax shooter, but I, uh, yeah, I am not good enough at the game to micro that quickly. Um, so I realized, yeah, okay, that submerger support isn't doing anything. So I put down another useless submerger support, which, as you can probably tell, only gives us a tiny little bit more coverage. A tiny bit more coverage. So, uh, yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, the small ceramics keep on coming through, and at this point, you can kind of see I've already lost. So at this point, I'm kind of like, do I defend or do I try and counter? And you look at inside, he's got a Bionic Boomer, he's got two Destroyers and all of the Cobras, so at this point, it was kind of like, let's just take the L. Yeah, he, he, he Team Towson would be right at the end. He realized he didn't need to Team Towson me anytime soon. Um, but no, this guy was nice. This guy was nice. I sent him a face palm. There you go. And I was just like, yeah, that was, uh, that was shit. Uh, and I want to do it again. <laughs> But um, as you can tell, I was probably not too, uh, I was not good enough for him, so he said no. Um, so he went and looked for another game. It was a pretty big chunk. It was a pretty big chunk. But we went and went, went and looked for another game, hopefully trying not to let it, uh, well, trying not to start out with the loss, but try and make it even. Um, and then this happened. Uh, that is actually Asian sensation. <laughs> so if I had any chance of not dying, um, <laughs> it wasn't going to be this game. So yeah, uh, Asian Sensation fucking went up against me in BFB Coliseum. Uh, and we got ship map, and then another ship map, and then we got A game. And I have absolutely no idea how to play the A game. <laughs> uh, so I was busy trying so hard to think of a strategy to use. I ended up going with Dartling Farm Boomer. Um, and I, I don't know. I was really not already looking forward to this as it was. I kept on sending him a thumbs down trying to see, yo, could you forfeit and, and rematch me so we can skip the map? But he, uh, no, spoiler alert, he didn't. So we ended up playing it. <laughs> oh, God. It was, you can already see how big of a fuck up it is by the fact that I also haven't put powers on. I'm still going T0. So I went T0 against Asian who was using powers, which is, uh, which is always very good. Um, and I'm trying desperately right now to remember how the hell you play Dartling Farm Boomer, which I totally forgot. Um, but yeah, we got down our Dartling gun, I placed it at the top. I thought it might be the best idea, because obviously it's not going to be anything with attack shooter on this map. And it's not going to be anything with a mortar either. Um, and he's, he like the tryhard he is now. But as soon as he went, Dart he went, uh, DFA, which is, uh, well... Miles better than uh, than this strat. I just can't play DFA. I should probably learn it at some point. I really should. Um, and I e-called wrong as well. I went to 256 instead of 258. Um, but yeah, no, we uh, we'd already lost at this point. But it was a fun game. It was a fun game. I uh, I tried not to get out farmed early on in this game as well, which is why I went for the farm instead of the uh, what's it called instead of the powerful darts straight away. Um, but I did I did then decide to put it on powerful darts as soon as I possibly could because uh, I was going to need it. So there we go. Yeah, I put powerful darts on. Um, and I tried to, uh, well, he already got trip shot down, which meant I didn't really need to send him pings. Uh, so we kind of left it for a bit. I kind of left it. I'm actually too fair, no. You need a trip shot and you need a zero or two, don't you? All right, okay, so I choked again. Now in hindsight, I choked again. Um, but at this point, the, um, you know, the, uh, what's it called? I was, I wasn't being out farmed too badly. Well, too badly, no. He already had a plantation down. Um, I didn't. Um, but you know, it was, uh, it was all right. It was all right. I, uh, I got down a plantation and I was still vibing. He only had sent me the initial eco right now. So he wasn't trying to force anything else out of me. 
Um, so I was getting ready to send greens uh, as soon as blacks, as soon as possible, to try and force down some defense. Sent it as soon as round six starts, by the way, which I want to say was uh, very professional of me. I got a well done out of it from Asian, which meant I did something right. Um, <laughs> and then I just kept on farming because he got down two trip shots. So there was no point uh, continuing to go. Um, so I kept on trying to farm. But the one thing you got to remember with Dartling is that you do not want to have all your money gone by round eight. Because round eight is, is a big Dartling killer. Uh, killer if you do not have any money left over which I tried to make sure I did um, so we're getting on to round 8 right now and I was about to upgrade to a plantation but then I decided against it because like I say round 8 it is very important not to run out of money so I tried to prank him we got on to, uh, we got on to round 8 and as you can see where my cursor is I tried to prank him with a boosted yellow rush which was OP as hell and was going to kill him and then he laughed at me and then glue stormed it so yeah never mind <laughs> So yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> um, so I just sad faced him. I was like, okay, I think at this point I might have died. Uh, just a little bit. With my T zero powers and my uh, completely drained round eight rush. Um, it was uh, it was not that okay. It was not that good. I just want to say, by the way, I just want to clarify. I have not played any games. This is my second game today, right? My other, my first game was a game before, right? So this is my literal second game today. So be nice in the comments, all right? Be nice in the comments, please. Um, but it's round 10 right now, and I still haven't sent him any leads. And I'm like, holy shit, why have I not done that? Um, so I was spamming with leads. Yeah, again, like I can say, first game, alright, be nice, be nice. Uh, we're being a tiny little bit out of farm, we're probably being quite a bit out equal. In fact, no, I'm probably out equoing him at this point because of the yellow rush. Um, but it's not enough, it's not enough. So I get down my, uh, I get down the, uh, another farm. He's got a plantation at this point, as expected. Um, and I'm trying really hard right now to kind of recover this game. But, uh, with the dual eco boost, uh, it's kind of not possible. And he also sent me camel leads as well, which meant uh, that I was another grand away from, uh, another thousand. Sorry, grand is an English way of saying a thousand. But, uh, no, I was another thousand away from getting another farm up. And by that time, round 13 BIA, it was pointless. It was really pointless. You can see, though, he did the, uh, he did the, uh, the OP strategy of, uh, getting it down at the end of round 13 instead of halfway through. But I tried to kill him anyway. I tried to see if I could make it work. But I completely forgot that he had glue storms. So, yeah, it, it didn't really work at all. <laughs> Um, I tried to kill him though. I tried to see if I could get some sort of advantage on him But at this point he had a BIA. I had two plantations and he started saying see ya. So I was like, okay, let's get ready to sell um, And I was trying to no, please. No, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me um, But yeah And he didn't actually he, to be fair. He didn't kill me. He just tried to flex on me a little bit He got rid of all his darts except for his jug and just decided to spam the aces. And I'm pretty sure he then damage boosted it, if I if I remember rightly. I think he damage boosted me. Oh, yeah, there you go. He damage boosted it. So he was kind of like pranking me. It was such disrespect. The disrespect was insane. I'm sorry. It was insane. Um, so I tried to take advantage of it one last time. And uh, sold a farm and sent a boosted... I didn't even boost it. Yeah, I did boost it. A boosted uh, lead regen rush at him. But by that time, it was too late. It was way too late. He got two ODSs down. Um, I tried to send a Moab behind it to kind of like, you know, push it on a little bit. Um, completely draining myself here. I had no boost. Um... I mean, to be fair, I could have ground zeroed it if he really wanted to with the state of his eco. But I, uh, no, I fucked up my selling and didn't get down the Bionic Boomer's ability and I died. It was not a very good game. <laughs> I lost completely and I was really hoping I'd be able to rematch to kind of like redeem myself But no, he'd already taken his money from me. It wasn't enough. Yeah, there we go I tried to rematch it, but he was like nah, not worth my time. So I was, yeah, yeah, fair enough <laughs> So I uh, I tried to redeem myself. I went into another game here. I went into a, another BFB collie It was all right, you know, I uh uh, at this point, I was thinking and confident. You know, I'd had two practice games. One of them against one of the best players in the Bloons community ever. And I was looking at this guy's money and this guy's uh, games. And I was thinking, actually, to be fair, right? If I'm going to win against anyone, it'll be this guy. And I was looking at the map. I was like, oh, get on. It's uh, Concrete Alley. I could do Cobra Tax Sub. But as you can see by the skip, that was not going to be an option. Um... So yeah, we went on Temple again, and I tried to go, uh, I think it was NFE I went to try and go on this one. Yeah, I tried to go NFE on this map, but I thought, you know what, actually? I uh, I did get taught by ZigZag how to do NFE. So 
I might as well give it a go. I also remember to change my towers up, my powers over, sorry, which was, uh, yeah, that was really good. I remember to change my powers over this time. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'd been taught by a zigzag how to do NFE, so I guess I should try it out, see if I can make it work. So I was going into this, I, I was a little bit confident. Um, you know, put down my farmer, you know, I got that down right at the start. You know, I was getting ready to put down the farm straight away. I was like, I remember what to do, I remember how to make this work. Um, and, uh, well... It didn't. <laughs> Spoiler alert, as if you expected anything else. Um, but yeah, we got down the farm as soon as possible, and we were getting ready to send as soon as possible as well. We're going to get it on the uh, the more bananas. Or what, I think it's more bananas. Um, but yeah, and then uh, send as soon as possible. Uh, and I thought, you know what, we got this right down at the start. I think it was uh, 250, uh, 260 equal, wasn't it, for this? Yeah, so I'll set it to 260 like I'm supposed to. Um, and then I, uh, I, yeah, put down my uh, NG and I was ready to get going. It was, uh, you know, it was all well and good. I, uh, I thought I played right, but then I remembered, yeah, you don't need to get it on 9 inch nails right off the bat, which was stupid. But, um, you know, I thought I'd be doing all right. I also forgot to salted wounds him. He uh, drained down to 93 lives and I didn't salted wounds him, which is always very good. You know, when you forget to do that sort of stuff. Uh, mind you, mind you, he could have thought that I was pranking him. Is in like, not, not that I was pranking him, sorry, that I didn't have it in the first place. Which is very good. He could have thought that I didn't have it, so wasn't expecting me to abuse him with pinks and use assaulted runes. So uh, that's what I did. I sent him loads of pinks. I tried to pull a sneaky on him, was expecting to leak it in it for it to not mean anything. And then I assaulted runes to him. And by that point, he didn't have the money to put down a blade shooter. So I actually did end up getting a full salted on him and he put down a blade shooter, like I say. But it was too late. We uh, we got, what is it? It went from 93 to 54. So uh, that was, um, well, what was that? That was about 39 lives lost right there. So that is beautiful. Um, and then he sends me some pinks, so we put down the sentry gun. So at this point, I'm like, this guy, I'm about playing him. This is going well. So I've got a full salted on him. I've got down the right upgrades. I've got down proper defense, and we are equal farming. Probably I am out ecoing, like I say. Um, so yeah, I was looking forward to this. I was like, yeah, this game might actually go well. So I get down another farm, you know, think, feeling confident, you know, put down another farm. Um, upgrade it. I think I upgraded it. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then I spam. I, I don't send anything, actually. I didn't send anything. Um, but I was pretty confident that I was out playing at this point. Even though he had a dual eco boost. He said to me some blacks, and I remember from the hapotato training that you only need another NG, and you should be fine to stop chasing. Um, so yeah, I was feeling confident. I was feeling pretty confident. Um, so I got down my plantation and everything was going fine. And at this point, I was kind of thinking, I wonder if I could layer up some balloons against him to try and murder him. Because I was like, you know, I wonder if this will work. So I tried to do a corny method of doing it. Um, I didn't send him... Oh yeah, I did that after, didn't I? Yeah, I fucked up and sent some greens first. And I was like, actually, no, that's not what you want to do. So I tried to do the corny method of layering up. So I sent him some reds, you know, all right. And then I sent him some blues. And then I sent him some greens on top of it. And at that point, I was like, yo, I've done this perfectly, haven't I? But then I realized I have jam packs and didn't use it. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I got a couple, it wasn't even leaks as well, it got picked up by the tax shooter. So I tried again, with yellows, um, on top of it to see if I could fix it, and I still forgot about the jam packed. So I put some yellows on top of it to see if that would work, um, and, well... To be fair, it was really effective. Um, I completely forgot. Oh, no, I did. I did salt of booms in, but I didn't eat. He only leaked one life, so it didn't really mean anything. Uh, so I did it one more time. I did it one more time with the jam packed to see if that would work. So jam packed. Wait, where did I do it? I think, yeah, jam packed, reds, blues, greens, and yellows. Uh, and I thought, you know, this is it. This is going to kill him. He's going to die. He must die from this. Must die from this. But then round 10 maelstrom. Oh, my God. Round 10 Maelstrom. So at this point, I was like, you know what? This guy is very drained. Like, there are, can't, he can't be doing fine after this. So I was up in... I, was, I had the upper hand here. He didn't even send me a lead on round 10. So I was ready to put down another farm. And on round 11, he then sent me a lead. But at that point, it was too late for him. So I put down a balloon trap, you know, quite easily. Um, I was vibing. I was vibing. This guy was over defending way too much. I had some perfect defense down. Um, I was vibing. I was really looking forward to, uh, to the final of this game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I put down an injury and I was alright. You know, everything's fine. Um, and I was getting ready to completely do him in. But then he rainbow rushes me on round 13. And I was getting ready to put down another balloon trap and I couldn't afford it. And I sold it and then I fucked up. <laughs> it was shit. I had the upper hand that entire game. And then I fucked it over in the end. I fucked myself over in the end. Uh, so yeah, the one guy who I would have had a chance against, I I lost against. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that good at all. <laughs> so uh, I thought, you know what? Right, let's try and send it home. One more game, 
to try and redeem myself. Uh, and yeah, we, well, we went up against it, uh, a gold medal for that region. I'm pretty sure that's actually the regional champion or something like that, I think. Uh, but at least this time, I knew exactly what strat to go. So I went for attack with farm lord out. And at this point, I was kind of like, you know what, fuck it. We'll try and go. I said, good luck at him. You know, we'll try and see if uh, we can make him feel nice. We put a thumbs up as well. We try to want to see if we can make him, you know, be friendly towards us. Um, because at this point, I had no hope <laughs> at all. I'd already lost three times. So I was like, I wonder if maybe, maybe we might get a win, but probably not. <laughs> So I, uh, I started out, I got my farmer down, I put it up at the top, um, and we waited a bit. And obviously I had my powers as well, so I already had a, I already had a chance here, I had my powers ready, so I was, uh, I was, I was feeling a little bit more confident, um, so yeah, I, uh, I waited until I could get a farm down, put a farm down in the top corner, and I upgraded it as soon as I could afford it, and I was thinking, well, to be fair, like I say, I, I know what I'm doing with this strategy, I should be able to make it work, um, but I was, I, like I say, I wasn't really feeling too confident for obvious, obvious reasons. Um, and we had lightning as well, so I wasn't really too fussed about the start of the game. Um, and you can see me circling the tunnel there. That was me bitching on about the fucking lightning. At this point, like I said, I wasn't feeling confident. I was just in a, I wasn't in a good mood. And I was just complaining about how the lightning doesn't hit anything in the tunnel. And I really had nothing else to be happy about. <laughs> nothing to be happy about, sorry, in this game. At all. Um, so yeah. I had my uh, I had my tax shooter down, and I was getting ready to upgrade it. You know, send him some blooms, try and force an upgrade on blues. Getting ready to upgrade myself on my side if he sent me pinks. Uh, all's well, you know, I, I accidentally sent one too many blooms, so yeah, I got a couple of leaks in there. Unfortunately, uh, getting ready for him to salt me actually. I got down a lightning. That was a good play there. I got ready for him to salt me, so that was all well and good. Um, but yeah, like I say, uh, I wasn't really too confident. I was uh, just trying to play it you know that was basically it. i was just trying to see if i could at least not misplay um and he's already out farming me so i'm kind of like oh shit yeah this is this is me done this is me done for uh so i get down the plantation and it gets on to round six and at this point i'm trying to force some defense on him so it gets to round six um and i sent him a bunch of greens trying to force down another dartling um and they do and mind you for some reason they wait a while before they're doing it they're anti-stalling and then they put down another dartling and i stopped sending at the exact right time as well because i'm that good of a player um, but yeah, at this point, I'm kind of like, alright, I've done some good plays here, so I might actually be able to make this work. I was starting to feel confident. I was actually starting to feel confident here. Um, so we get down some more. I get down another farm as soon as possible here. We are equal farming at this point. We have equal farms, probably equal eco. Um, I'm feeling good about myself here. So I upgrade the farm, um, at the top. Actually, wait, did I forget to upgrade it? I think I forgot to upgrade it, you know. I think I forgot to upgrade it. Shit, did I? I think I did. I, I, I can't have. No way I forgot to upgrade it. Oh no, I'm trying to send a yellow rush at him. That's why I jam pack a yellow rush at him to try and kill him. And I think, I'm thinking to myself, yo, this might actually work. But then, no, he damage boosts it. So it's, uh, it ends up being a pointless exercise. <laughs> um, and yes, I did forget to upgrade it. There we go. Now I upgrade it. Um, but yeah, no. I uh, At this point, I was starting to feel confident. Um, and then he jam damage boosts it. And I'm kind of like, oh yeah, what the hell do I do at this point? Mind you, I knew exactly what to do against the white, uh, the yellows and the whites. I put down another tax shooter on 2-2 and then lightning to where the yellows. So that got rid of the yellows and the whites there. So yeah, again, I, f I was feeling like, you know, I haven't won this game. But I haven't misplayed. This game's gone kind of all right. And he doesn't even send me a lead on round 10. But I sent him a lead. Mind you, he then puts down a balloon dissolver. So there's really no point. But, uh... No, I uh, I was getting ready to put down some lead defense here, and he didn't even send me anything. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's put down another farm. Why not? Um, so I do. I put down another farm, and then I get down a wizard because round 12 is coming up, and I'll need some camo defense. Um, but uh, yeah, I was feeling confident, and I was about to send him a camo lead right off the bat as well. I was remembering pro shit, like well, not pro shit, normal st stuff that anyone should remember. But I was remembering how to play properly, and I was very happy with myself. So he put down a dartling. Uh, he put down a uh, what's it called? Uh, Bluntonium dartling. Um, don't you don't mind what just happened there, by the way? I did put down two uh one or banana farms instead of putting upgrading the one or to a two or. Um, yeah, just ignore that. Just ignore that. Um, and then I spend it just trying to put that down. But then I get it in the end. But no, I was I was feeling happy. Other than the uh, other than the banana farm thing. Um, I was kind of happy with how that game was going. So I, uh, I lightninged it. Um, 
they had no farms at this point, unless that's a BIA in the top left corner that I've completely missed out on, which I kind of think it is now that I see that other farm up there. But no, I was uh, I was feeling confident. I was feeling confident. They got down another Dartling, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just try and let's just try and go for the kill. Um, so I'll try and bait them into using some upgrades here by sending uh, some camel. Uh, what is it? Some Camgrow Zebras. Uh, they sent me a Camel Ceramic that I completely missed out on. That nuked my health all the way down to 25. And, uh, well, they glue stormed it, obviously. But that was it. That was it. That was exactly what I wanted them to do. And I sent them a bunch of this stuff. And I was kind of hoping that it would work. Um, and then the damage boosted it on top of it. So I was, it was, uh, nah. It was, uh, it didn't, it didn't really work. Or so I thought. Because I won. Somehow I won. I have no idea how I managed to send that home, but I did. Um, <laughs> so it ended up being 3-1. I won a BFB Coliseum game. 3-1. Um, that was very good for me. That's about as well as it could have possibly gone for me. Um, but yeah, so that's the story of how I met Asian Sensation and lost uh, and still managed to win 3-1 in BFB Coliseum. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I have been Sky, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.